Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. We're playing through the campaign over here. Let's go ahead and open that back up in the objectives list. And the first video, we did these first five checkpoints or so. And we have a lot of the tech tree left. We have uh, this goods thing we thought we unlocked, but it turns out we have to have the distribution office to uh, do this part of the scenario. And that's something that we unlock in the process of building all of this stuff. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to work our way through left to right, do some uh, emergency stuff. I think that's healthcare, uh, fire, police, etc. And then uh, education and government doctrine, which is, uh, is what it is. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and get started here with emergency, and that's going to start that mission. All right, so uh, standard boilerplate stuff. Hospitals are good. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to disagree with you there. And uh, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and get going with all of this stuff. Uh, what they're talking about here uh, has to be in a good location so people can walk to it, or the ambulances have to at least have access to a good road network to uh, get everything squared away. So we're going to go ahead and build a hospital here. I love the arrows that just point to everything because you know I would not be able to find it <laughs> otherwise. Anyway, so here is our hospital. Let's zoom out a little bit. Take a look at where we might want to place this. We have a couple different options. We can put it in the middle here. And as long as we have a road and a sidewalk connection, pretty much, I think just about everybody can get to, uh, well, everybody we've currently built uh, can get to a hospital here. We could also put it here, but that's going to rule out these guys. So I think what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go ahead and put it maybe right about here. And I think in order for us to want to get into that, let's go ahead and get rid of some of our pathing here. Got to get used to these camera controls again. But uh, we'll go ahead, pop this guy in right about here. Maybe leave a little bit of space for a road behind it. There we go. And you know the drill. Uh, we are going to start upgrading our roads and our paths. I did find out that we actually have multiple tiers of things we can get into that are actually going to be much, much better for our citizens to use. So we'll start by uh, slowly slowly upgrading our paths and especially the roads because the roads can have sidewalks on the side which means we don't have to have these uh, trunk lines of sidewalks going absolutely everywhere anyway a friend here says the hospital requires an educated workforce of doctors and staff uh, which we don't currently have so i think we're going to have to import i guess the game calls it experts etc but they'll guide us through it so we have to have doctors we have to have staff we have to have ambulances we click on here same drills before buy a new vehicle we get three ambulances to choose from so let's just take a look at these real quick uh maximum speed 100 kilometers an hour 90 and 90 i don't know i think ambulances probably should be fast but this is the cheapest one also so what's the disadvantage there uh one passenger one passenger one passenger so that's not it they're all the uh out the same engine power so i, I don't really know what the advantage is to having the van versus uh Looks like a station wagon kind of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and get uh, four of those. And now we have staff and doctors. I guess we had educated uh, people living nearby that are, are just working here. So that works out well. We don't have to import import residents. That sounds insane. But um, anyway, you know how it goes. So that should take care of that for the time being. This is just the, I guess, kind of tutorial. Not really a tutorial. The game does have extra... Uh, tutorial levels that work on different things, but looks like now we're working on firefighting, etc., etc., etc. I am imagining it's going to be the same kind of deal where we want something that's going to be centrally accessible by some fire apparatus. Uh, one thing I did learn, uh, they're not all fire trucks. They are called apparatus, at least in the U.S. Your mileage may vary overseas, but uh, the tr the fire truck is actually a specific type of apparatus, and you have uh, you have ladder trucks, you have uh, I think they call them, uh, oh, is it, I don't think it's a tanker. It's some other, there's there's some specific term for it that doesn't make sense at first, but then you you understand what uh, what different things are called in different uh, different spheres. And then, okay, that makes sense. I think it's called a tender. The, the, the truck that has the giant tank on the back that carries all the water, uh, if you're out somewhere where you don't have fire hydrants or whatever, because the tanker, I think, is like an airplane that can drop water. I don't know. Anyway, we're, we're in the USSR. They don't have that stuff. Uh, so let's build ourselves a fire station. We don't have to be able to have everybody walk to the fire station, but uh, we do want it to be accessible to the main road. And uh, I think we're going to end up building 
on a bunch of different other areas of this map when we get into the industrial production things, especially ore mining, because uh, typically you have to do that in mountains. And uh, there's mountains here on the border with the NATO country, I guess. And um, not really anywhere else. So um, I don't know, there might be some over there, but we'll, we'll find out. So we're going to have to do some bridges, I'm sure. I don't know how much we're going to get to today, but we will certainly do our best. So I'm going to put, um, might as well, but this guy kind of centrally located. Uh, I'm really not happy with the, the bus system. We might rip that out and redo that in this one, but uh, we'll see what happens. I do want to leave a road access through here or space to put a couple more uh, housing blocks. Not entirely sure how that's going to work. So for right now, I think if I can actually get a... Uh, hold on. Aha! Yeah, somebody somebody left a very nice comment telling me about the grid. Uh, double pressing F1 gives me lovely up and down alignment here. So I think I will just put the fire station right here. We can turn that off. And then once that gets built, we just have to have the roads connecting to it. And this is what I was talking about earlier. We have all these different roads uh, with trams and stuff we're obviously not into quite yet. But there's one of these that has asphalt road with streetlights and sidewalks. That's what we want. We want to upgrade want to upgrade all of our roads. So I'm actually going to go ahead and just take this guy all the way. Oh, you get out of here. Uh, all right. So what do you say? Functional fire station, these fire trucks. And yep, there you go. I guess the game is going to call them fire trucks. But you see, you zoom in here. And okay, that's a little, little messed up. But it does have streetlights and has sidewalks. So these guys don't have to walk on the road. They deserve better than that. So uh, I am going to just real quick, while we're already here, uh, upgrade some more of our roads. Uh, we basically, for the intent and purpose of this scenario, we more or less have unlimited money. So we don't need to stress out about actually, you know, making any, which I guess we can appreciate. So uh, this still has to be connected to the road, which was the whole reason I got this. Now this is our default road. Um, let's go ahead. We can adjust the radius of our... Uh, yeah, it's not going to let me do a, a curve here. So I think what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to run a, uh, a road through here. I guess we'll just go right here, and then I'll just connect. Oh, come on. I can't go perfectly straight here. I guess that's what that uh, that grid does. It has like a, what is that, like overlapping different planes to create a bunch of triangles. I don't know. Geometry class was a long time ago. But now we have the road connected. Uh, so let's come in here. we got to buy some fire trucks. Or now we have a fire vehicle and a fire truck. I guess it's not going to get into the specific of uh, ladder trucks or engines or tenders or whatever. So we'll go ahead. And we'll just grab, uh, I'm guessing, I'm guessing the fire vehicle is going to be to transport a bunch of guys. And this is to actually, you know, uh, respond to fires. And this is just, I don't know. I'm going to get, uh, really the maximum speed on this is 62 kilometers an hour. Eh, Soviet fire trucks must not have been very fast then. I was about to say, the ones we have are very fast. But we'll grab three of these and one of those. And we'll be on our way. So, uh, firefighters, I don't think require any specific type of job or training or anything. They can just kind of, well, in the game, obviously, in real life, they, they go through training and it's an actual, like, very, uh, very involved process. Unless you're in a volunteer company, but that's not relevant to this. All right, so now we have 19 out of 73. Oh, how convenient. A fire has started in one of our buildings, but at least we can witness our new fire trucks in action. All right, that seems kind of, uh... Kind of suspicious. Okay, yeah, the apartment block's on fire. So let's, um, where's the fire truck? Let's actually follow this guy. We, we haven't really done too much of this, just following things around in the game. And the game is really detailed. It's quite nice. They've done a good job with it. I feel like we should probably appreciate that. But I guess when they respond to, uh, respond to fires, they've got to, got to actually drive up to the building on the road. That's why Rose there, even though nobody in here owns a car, nobody in this entire, uh, entire city, I guess, owns a car, because we haven't allowed private car ownership. But, yeah, they just squirt water on it, and it's gone. Just like real life. It's definitely the complete, simple on-off of how it works. Recently, we faced a stroke of bad luck as one building caught fire. Yeah, I think you set that fire. Just just between just between me and you. Um, let's see. However, thanks to our preparedness, our firefighters swiftly responded, preventing the fire, blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, propaganda. All right. Let's move on. So that's that's it for emergency. I, th I thought we were going to get into police with that, but maybe that's in uh, Soviet University. That's locked. That's locked. That guy's standing in front of a train. So I think I think that's how we're going to get into uh, trains here. Anyway, uh, we can do coal mining, and then we can get down to here. 
or we can go to the university bit. But I imagine, depending on how this goes, we might be able to get through all the rest of this in this video. So let's go ahead and jump into Soviet University. I think this is going to be propaganda. I don't know. I don't know. Let's, let's find out. <laughs> yep. All right. Yep. Minister of Propaganda. Who would have guessed? Yes. Okay. All right. Well, we have to do it. So, yes. Headquarters of the Communist Party. Wait. Communist Party? Okay. I think that's, uh, that's a typo. Uh, da, da, da. Objective is to have a minimum of 15 high educated party officials slash teachers present at the headquarters of the Communist Party. Their expertise and guidance will play a crucial role in shaping our nation's future. All right, so brainwashing it is. Let's make a headquarters of Communist Party. Um, let's see, so we have two options here. We have a small headquarters and just a regular headquarters. Okay, that's a big one. Um, so, uh, I imagine since, since they said we need higher educated workers, we're probably also going to have to have room to build a university or... Uh, special housing for those people. So we probably should uh, use some of this space here. I don't want to box in too much of our uh, food production, so we might want to uh, leave a little bit of space here for a road. Yeah, let's just pop that right there. And I think this is going to take a while to build. Yeah, <laughs> aggregate 2,300 workdays. Oh no, entire construction is almost 7,000. All right, so I think... Uh, I think we have to let that go for a little bit. So let's uh, let's go to faster speed here. And while we are waiting, let's um, let's take a look at the rest of our roads. See if there's anything else we really need to upgrade. Uh, we might as well do all the ones between buildings, uh, just so everything has a uh, a nice sidewalk connecting it. Pretty easy here. And then I really want I want to redo this whole bus stop thing because I I feel like that's a complete disaster. I did not uh, do a good job getting that set up. But that's that's got sidewalk. That's got street lights. Uh, that's looking good. These are farms, which I don't think need street lights for sidewalks. But uh, your mileage may vary, I suppose. Let's just get this, and then that needs to be hooked up. That's just a tiny road. Doesn't really need to be that way, but I think that's fine. And then we can take. Oh, never mind. Propaganda's back. All right. Da 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 da. -da, -da. Um, minimum of 15 high educated party officials. Yes. Okay. So now we have to have a university, which, um, yeah, I guess this is actually finished. So is it going to show me how to, uh, make the university or do I have to just randomly find it? I think it's probably state. Ah, yeah, here we go. Medical university, technical university, headquarters of communist party we already built. Re you can build residence halls for universities. Wow. That's really, uh, that's really detailed. Yeah, but party officials, I guess we need to have those. So I think I think it wants us to build um, housing specifically for party officials, which I guess we can recruit. Uh, we don't have, I don't think we have any open, okay, we do have some, uh, but these are all really far away. So I figure what we're probably going to have to do, uh, come over here, where our citizens, I, I don't have to have this at maximum speed. Uh, large residential buildings. Oh, we can't build the rest of these until we do different types of research, and probably not at all in this campaign tutorial. Ah, here we go. Now, here's the uh, the pop-up, I guess, reminding me that I have to do this. If we do not have enough workers with high education in our republic, we can invite experts from the Soviet Union. Valuable knowledge and experience will not only enhance our workforce, but also strengthen our ties with fellow comrades across the nation. Yes, there we go. So, yep, so we have to invite five immigrants experts from the Soviet bloc, is what that is. So, let's build... Like I was saying, uh, small residential buildings, we have a few more options. <laughs> Low quality, yeah, okay, no. Um, we got, how many of these can all hold? Oh, that's 20, that's 10, that's 30, that's 30. Uh, medium residential buildings, we can do brick or brick. You can have it any color you want as long as it's black. Wait, why does this have a road on both sides? That's kind of strange. Is this one like that too? No. Okay. So I think we're going to just, uh, how close can I get this? I guess uh, that will be fine right there. And uh, we will pause this. And we need to remember to uncheck Get Citizens so it doesn't automatically fill it. And then once it's built, we can invite experts. Uh, but you can have up to 70 party officials and 70 staff. So I think we're probably going to want to build uh, a couple of these since we're already here. Ah, uh, I built this too close. I built it too close. Oops. So let's just uh, pretend we didn't do it. What in the world is... Oh, those are piles of dirt. It was like, that's a very, uh, very strangely shaped thing. 
All right, so let's... Ah! Oh, it's not going to let me until the thing goes away, is it? Well, we can build this next one uh, substantially further out. That way, don't forget to uncheck Get Citizens. Do I have to manually... There we go. Now it's gone. And I'm going to build, like I said, a second one here. Uh, I can go pretty close, huh? Yeah, so we'll just do two of those right there. Remember to uncheck Get Citizens. Let them build that. Oh, ships and planes and cableways. We haven't even gotten any of that. But uh, all these new uh, footpaths we're going to build, I want to have lamps on them. You know, just higher quality stuff. Always a good idea. So we'll just have this go right between the buildings. Connect the back. Connect the back. And then we can connect here and here just so these guys can zoop, go in the side door, I guess, as it were. Yeah, yeah, side door. Don't have to go through the front door. You got VIP access. All right, so streetlights and sidewalks, once again. Uh, let's drag this down here. I appreciate that it lets you know uh, what the uh, angle of departure is from your current uh, current orientation. That's a nice touch. But let's go ahead and put this in here. Get these connected like so. And now these are um, ready for experts. And we have to pay for the experts. And then we can actually specify that they only work in the Communist Party headquarters if they live here. And that should take care of party officials and staff. And yeah, here we go, starting to fill up. And they will uh, eventually be fruitful and multiply or whatever <laughs> the game mechanic is for that. You can use your imagination. But now we have... Okay, now we have 15. There we go. All right, propaganda's back. Uh... Prioritize party member ranking research as our first step, allowing us to swiftly reward our most... Yep, okay, here we go. So it looks like we've got down here a bunch of different research... Okay, here's our... Um, I think that's our distribution center that we were talking about in the uh, selection for the different uh, scenario parts. But party member ranking, yep, there we go. Social credit, etc. Um, I think she's probably going to have us raise the government loyalty minimum. I don't think you want people uh, working at the headquarters of the Communist Party who aren't loyal to the Communist Party. I mean, I don't know. Your mileage may vary, but if we're if we're attempting to play as the Communists, we probably don't want don't want bad loyalty there. So I guess we can just uh, leave that alone. But oh yeah, that's going to take a long time to get researched. Um, can I? Uh, oh yeah, I can. I can just dump all of them into this. But that is uh, that's still going to take quite some time. So I guess now would be a... Oh, fog of war and the rain's kind of nice. Uh, but let's take a look at our bus lines. Unless they're going to make us work on this. Party Headquarters University. When do you can determine the number of high educated workers assigned to research? Yep, already did that. All right. Um, yeah, they're only at 11%. Uh, I'm, I'm not happy with the... Uh, uh, the bus... Uh, the bus connections here. I, I did not do a good job setting this up, probably because I was, you know, playing the game for the first time. But uh, I think we want to get rid of this and uh, remap how everything's set up. But I don't remember uh, exactly how that was set up. We've got uh, road vehicle depots. We've got bus stops, bus platforms. Uh, the, one of the problems we have here is they only go to this one. They don't go to the second one for some reason. Uh, I, I don't really know why... I don't really know why it's doing that. So I think, I think what we probably need to do is just, uh, oh, I don't even know how this, uh, ah, okay. We can, uh, wait. Oh, man, how does this work? Am I just going to have to, aha, yes. No, I want to, I want to, okay, all right. I want to get rid of, or I could just sell the bus. That's easy. Just, just sell the buses and start over. I'm sure there's a there's another way to do it, but uh, we're just going to say bye-bye to the buses and just rebuy them. Again, we have a lot of money, so I don't think we have to worry about it. Uh, we'll just get this set up in a slightly better way. Because, uh, remember, we are going to have to have these guys going all over the map. So I think that is uh, going to behoove us moving forward here. So I think we got rid of all the buses. I don't see any more. 
Meh, meh. I'm gonna end up doing that every single time, aren't I? Meh, meh. All right, so let's go to our road vehicles depot. Uh, filter by type bus. So we got seven to choose from. Oh, yeah, microbus. There we go. That's an efficient uh, transportation right there. Uh, seven passengers, eight passengers, 52, 80. That's a big bus. 52, 40, and 60. So uh, to no one's surprise, we're going to get the giant ones. Let's get four. So uh, the reason we had the buses set up in the first place, I guess we could uh, turbo speed this um, since we're doing research. But the reason we had the bus stops is because I built all these flats up here and we had all these jobs down here. So we obviously want to have a, uh, a time between this and this and then this and this. Uh, although admittedly, these are pretty close. Probably not the best idea for us to be doing that. But so I can do from here to here. Get out and get in, get out and get in. But it doesn't let me choose what side they go on. So I, I don't know what I don't know what the deal is with that. But we'll uh, we'll let that one bus go there, and then we can copy the schedule to another vehicle. So I really hope, I really hope, I can actually have them go to this other platform. And if not, then we might have just done a stupid. But I'm going to copy schedule to that guy, and then oh, this is cool. All sorts of other. Uh, there we go, and I can just uh, take care of that, and then I can have this guy go from. Maybe if I start there, and then go to that one, then there we go. So now we got two each going here and here. If they don't go to this other side, I'm probably going to be a little bit irritated. But I guess we'll find out. It also could have something to do with the way that the, uh, with the, way that the traffic is coming in versus coming out. But let's see. We've got a bus coming in. Goes to the top one. No problems there. Okay, so why do they why do they both go unless they're on the same route, which would be kind of stupid. All right, so I guess I guess it's because they come in this way. Maybe I don't I don't know. All right, we're just we're yeah, we're just not gonna worry about it. <laughs> we're uh, we're we're beyond that. Now, one thing I did kind of want to do, I was take another look at our uh, our crops. We don't have nearly enough to sustain stuff, so I kind of want to replace these. Yeah, especially they're not all getting, not all getting planted. Uh, we need to have additional farms uh, to take care of all of this. So, why don't we? Uh, sidewalks, etc. Uh, if we just have this come all the way down, we'll just have this go straight like this. Uh, connect here, and then we'll connect this here. I want to build another farm because uh, I know we're going to have to have some sooner or later and we just have this one small farm uh, directly connected to this factory that's all well and good but uh, we definitely definitely want to make sure that we have some other stuff going on so uh, we have small fields medium fields large fields uh, that's that's big that is quite large uh, but we need to farm uh, synthetic fertilizer oh, I'm sorry synthetic there we go uh, we have grain storage as well which we can do and then have uh, trucks or trains etc um, but we have small farm already built, medium farm, a little bit bigger, and then the large farm is even bigger still. I don't think this is very good farmland next to the river, which may, might not make sense from a uh, from a conceptual perspective, but uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't seem yeah flat terrain, etc. Uh, but we are going to want to have plenty more going on here. I did kind of box myself in with the uh, the way this is set up. So at the very least, I think we're going to put a medium farm on the other side of the river, and then we can have, uh, if I can get this to be lined up, I guess it's not going to be perfect because the, uh, the street wasn't perfectly lined up. That's my fault. That's all right. We'll be okay. Maybe. There we go. Uh, I'm going to put that there. So medium farm, and then I don't know if there is a way to check uh, fertility. But uh, we, I think we might want to do that. I, I don't think the game's going to let me. We're, okay, we're at 87% of the party member ranking research done. But I, I do want to get some more stuff done. So let's see if we can do maybe a couple of medium fields. I don't know if it's going to let me uh, get too much into this. I just put one of these here. 
and one of these right here. I think that should be connected, should be. So that's going to be assigned to this farm. Okay, where... Now I have to remember how to actually... Okay, so this is actually assigned to those four. And then... No, oh, okay. Okay, that's why I haven't connected it with road. Yes, street lights. All right, all right. You got to get propaganda lady out of the way here. Next imperative research we must undertake is... Ah, yes, the secret police. Hmm. All right. Da, 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 da. We can effectively monitor citizens' loyalty, allowing us to identify and select the most devoted individuals for crucial roles like teachers. Yep. But hey, let's not pretend that other countries don't do this too. <laughs> anyway. Um, yep, secret police research that. Just maximize that research. That's probably going to take a pretty, uh, pretty good amount of time. So, like I said, we have to get this actually connected here. Is it going to let me actually connect these? Or is this too close? <laughs> I think it's actually too close. All right. Well, that's a uh, that's a disappointment. I guess we'll just demolish the fields, move them back a tiny bit, and then uh, and then go from there. There we go. So that will fit quite nicely right next door. And now I think I can connect. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Because you know we have to have street lights and sidewalks going to the farm fields. Although I think I think you can actually manually have people, you know, farm with their hands and not just uh, machinery. But we'll get that taken care of. I think having only these six fields uh, devoted to this farm is going to massively, massively increase the ability of uh, this farm to be uh, substantially more efficient. So we have spaces for nine mechanisms here. So let's go ahead and uh, we have what, six fields. Six tractors, um, harvesters. Let's get four harvesters because we want to make sure we can. Th these are going to take a long time. So that should be fine. And then uh, we have options for trucks. This can haul how much? 10 tons of crops, 5.6 tons. Are these metric tons? Th they'd have to be long tons, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. 3.3 tons. Yeah, let's uh, let's just get two of those. So now they can actually uh, start taking care of everything. We got our six fields working here. Um, okay, 13.38% fertility. That's not great. Um, are they going to actually, you know, plow this? Or am I going to have to get... Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to get uh, fertilizer. All right, so I guess we'll just do that. Is that actually going to increase 14.2? 14.2. Um, so may maybe this is a terrible place to build fields. I should have gone somewhere else. I don't know, but we have time because we're only 22% of the way through researching the secret police. So can I uh, lower this to 20 and see if it... Uh... <laughs> All right, that's going to take some time, I suppose. Probably should actually raise this back up to 50. Oh well, we'll get it figured out. Not going to be that worried about it. Uh, but what we can do is, uh, you know, we got to get crops imported to the warehouse. Probably get, end up just using trucks for this, honestly. And we have plenty of. I think is it going to let me do grain storage? Um, 8,000 tons of crops. 11,200 tons. Oh, that's a warehouse. What's the what's the biggest one? I guess uh oh. Oh. Okay, that's a <laughs> that's that's a big one. All right. Um what about Yeah, see this is much uh much better. Much better to have this uh this small one here. And how how many uh 800 tons? How much can the farm actually store itself? 76. All right, so that would still be an improvement. Um what is this? That's just a warehouse. 3,200 tons. Yeah, I, I think this is probably okay. Maybe shouldn't worry about it that much. But this actually might, uh, might work to put that there. Automatic factory connection will be fine. And they'll just store grain, crops, whatever you want to call it. Get that done, and then I think what we'll have to do 
uh, to feed this is we'll have to come up to our road depot. Uh, let's see. I think it was, uh, was it covered hole to transport crops? Yes. So we will, uh, yeah, 10 tons at a time. Let's buy two of these. And then uh, go between the grain elevator and this warehouse. Uh, load and unload. Hit launch. Unreachable. What? I mean, it's not connected with road. It sure is connected with the road. There's a road here. There's a road here. Are these, are these not actually connected? Or does it have to be... Do I have to... Do I really have to have all these connected? That's going to be pretty garbage if I if I do, but all right, whatever. Um, let's come back here. Okay, so now it actually wants to let me do that. All right, well, this is the tutorial slash uh, campaign whatever, so I think it's uh, fine to make dumb mistakes or suboptimal play as long as we uh, as long as we learn to get something done, and if we ever come back and revisit this, then that's how that... Oh, okay, I see. They come in that way. Come out this way. Should come down here, and then... Yeah, this really is not an optimal path, but I think it will be okay. Yeah, 54% of the secret police research done. That's going to be a bundle of fun. Okay, so the fertility is slowly increasing. I think this will be usable. We just have to uh, continue fertilizing it, I suppose. So, otherwise with food, um, we can't do synthetic fertilizer yet. I'm not going to build any more of these. Uh, we have a food factory. We aren't running at full capacity yet, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, distillery making the alcohol. I uh, don't have to worry about that either because it's not... Dude, we don't even have enough workers to run the thing. So I guess we're probably okay for right now, but we are going to need some more... Yeah, we're going to need some more of these guys coming in here. I should... I should only allow university education to move in here. Because I think we're going to end up building a university at some point. Anyway, but I think we have to get the secret police research done first. So, all that being said, we should, hopefully, at some point soon, uh, see the uh, fruits of our labors. We're, we're still growing. We're about uh, halfway through on a couple of these fields, and the rest of them uh, could take quite a while. So, what else can we get ourselves into? We're looking here. No unemployed workers. Okay. Okay. That just means we don't have enough workers. So we need to figure out where would be a great place to put some more flats based on jobs. Yeah, we could definitely... Uh, yeah, we can't... Oh, we can! Okay. Let's go to um, 55%. Ah! Ah, we can't do it for the students yet. But we can make sure that's that's taken care of. Alrighty. 78%. Yeah, I, th I think we're just going to have to eventually build, like, a second uh, second city center here. And I'm sure if we have to go all the way to the uh, end of the map, then that's going to be an entirely different story. But uh, University probably is going to make the most sense to go maybe right here in the middle as we keep expanding. Uh, other things... Did we want to try and put another... I don't know why I'm asking. You can't respond until the video is published. But I think... I think I can put a couple more of these right here if I can get this to be perfectly lined up there's no rule that says the dog can't play basketball there's also no rule that says I can't build these flats incredibly close together so let's do that and then I think oh look at this yeah yeah we're gonna have those grain trucks going right by your front door that's uh probably suboptimal for these people but uh it's gonna be great for efficiency I'll tell you that all right, so now we should... Yeah, now we do have some unemployment because we don't have enough jobs open, but uh, they should... Cannot store or export food. What do you mean? Oh, oh, we're full on food. Well, shouldn't the food... Oh, okay, that's full. So we should be... Um, we should be exporting food. Or have we... Um, are we actually sending any food to the uh, grocery stores? Where's my grocery store? It's right here. Shopping center. I think we're, um... Oh, we're still, uh, we're still manually importing. Let's, um... Let's not do that anymore. Not do food, not do clothes. We can still import electronics and meat because we're not farming those. But, um... 
I think that might be part of the problem. Is we're not actually consuming anything we're, uh, we're producing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, um... Let's... Excuse me, do that. Secret police research is a remarkable achievement. Is it now? Uh, now we can establish the secret police to safeguard the loyalty and security... All right, I don't, I don't like you. But show must go on. Build a secret police headquarters. But first I have to make sure I can, uh... Stop importing that because we're making we're making the alcohol. We should be should be drinking what we're making here. All right, secret police headquarters. That is going to be here. We have two options: small secret police or normal secret police. So, uh, no surprise here. Probably makes sense to put it, you know, actually next to the uh, headquarters of the Communist Party. I don't know. Maybe just a uh, just an idea. I think I'm going to pop that right here. There we go. Uh, make sure it's connected with our footpaths. We'll just make a connection right there so they can, uh, I guess, do what they want. Come in this way. Is that really going to... Okay, there we go. I just like it when things are straight. Oh, you know what we can do here? We can actually... Mm, okay, no. Hold on. we got to talk to her again. Secret police building is staffed with high educated workers. Personal cars play a vital role in visiting. Oh, so we are going to have personal cars. Visiting residential buildings to install and collect monitoring equipment. Yep, all right. Uh, da, da, da. Please click on the newly built building to open a win Open a. Why is Windows capitalized? No, I didn't want to put that there. Get out of here. This is what happens when you talk to propaganda people. All right. So it looks like. Yep. Oh, are, is it going to be like the black sedan with the blacked out windows? Ha 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 ha! Oh, this is definitely supposed to be a Trabant. <laughs> I'm not... Okay, no. The secret police we can give the nice car to. In the spirit of the game. Alright, 160 kilometers an hour. Yeah, okay. Who's going to pull over the secret police? Uh, 125, 100. This is the same as the ambulance from earlier. 80 kilometers. Yeah, good luck getting a Trabant to go even 80 kilometers an hour. Oh, and you have the station wagon version of the Trabant. All right. Uh, but no, we're going to give them whatever this T603 is. I guess is kind of supposed to look like a luxury sedan. Um, three duty vehicles. Let's just do four. Just so that's taken care of. And then these guys have to have access to uh, everything they need. So we'll extend this out that way. Uh, connect to Reno. And I think we had a... There we go. I'll just connect that right there so we have some nice connections. Cool. So, oh yeah, the government loyalty and the secret police better be sky high. We'll go to 55 for now. Although, I guess if you wanted to uh, you wanted to destabilize from within, you could have completely disloyal the people working in the secret police. That would be interesting. I wonder if you can play the game like that. All right, so do we need 10 agents. Um, I think that means we can add... There we go go into our stuff. So now they can work in either the headquarters of the Communist Party or the secret police, and they are educated. So, uh, there we go. Uh, I'm going to import some more right here. Alright. Ah, here we go. Must raise the minimum government loyalty threshold to at least 50%. Okay, so I guessed right. Nice. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, here we go. Indoctrination and education. <laughs> we must be cautious not to set loyalty values too high as this could result in no teachers meeting the criteria. What a concept. Um, okay. So, I think... It, I, I like the idea of being 55. There we go. Thank you for all your attention and dedication. Yes, okay. Alright. So now... Okay, so okay, so they call it Soviet University, but we haven't built a university, so I don't, I don't know... Uh, unless that's supposed to be teaching us how the Soviet, I don't know. Higher education's next. There we go. Oh, we have, okay, we have another person here. All right. Technical university plays a vital role in our nation's development. It educates and trains new experts in technical fields. Yep. All right, checks out. Technical university, state infrastructure. Okay, we saw that earlier. We have a, wait, we have two different ones. Oh, that's tiny. Um, Oh, that's much bigger. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, build the big one. Uh, why don't we, uh, leave this space open for some more general housing to work in our other factories here. And I think, I think we can actually, uh, actually pop this maybe right about here. There we go. Technical University. 
Uh, nice sidewalk connections on the entire road here, but we will have to have actual crosswalks. Assuming we, you know, actually want our people to not die in a terrible vehicular accident. Um, but let's get uh, the sidewalk put in place. Oh, it's not going to let me do this, is it? Oh, that's a huge, that's a huge pain. All right. Um, I suppose, I suppose we're just going to have to do this the hard way here. Oh, I could just go to the... <laughs> Ah, uh, I see. I see what's happening. Jeez. Oh, All right. Got to talk to her again. Student halls of residences slash hostels is a remarkable opportunity for our citizens to continue their education beyond the age of 21. Normally, citizens would leave their parents' homes and begin working at this age, maybe in the 60s. Um, however, with the student houses, they have the option to reside there and pursue their studies at the university even after they turn 20. Okay. So student housing it is. I, I'm going to pause. I This is this really, really is going to irritate me. If I uh, I don't at least uh, get something something set up here with these paths, there we go. I, I just like it when stuff's connected. All right, so university halls of residences. We have two different ones. That one's big. That one's okay. They're basically the same. Uh, but you put this guy right here. It's going to be nice uh, walking range if I can actually get the path hooked up. But I think I think it's actually going to. Uh, behoove us to have this directly connected maybe right about here there we go we know they're going to be going in there uh, i don't know if these guys also have to be able to access grocery stores or whatever but i don't know um okay residential buildings window into the top part use the icon to move citizens selecting the student homes as their okay so is it just gonna automatically pick people of eligible age all right um I don't want to, those guys are already educated. I guess let's just, uh, okay. I'm assuming it'll just pick. So that's, uh, yeah, we'll just fill that up. That's fine. The research programs play a pivotal role in our nation's growth. Highly recommended conducting two key researches, metallurgy study and steel production. Ah, we're going to need that later. Uh, let's see. Okay. So another research building. Um, oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see. We got engineering. Chemistry, pollution, yeah, there you go, forest study, uh, introduction to broadcasting, concrete utilization, fuel processing, bitumen, I think that's a component in asphalt, oh, yep, there it is, um, metallurgy, and then steel, recycling, no, steel production, I guess we have to do metallurgy first, all right, so that's going to be, uh, okay, we can have, uh, we can have these guys also come across, no, come on, I'm pressing F1, not escape. There we go. Uh, let's invite some more experts. Just uh, fill these all the way up. Get some professors' uh, government loyalty up to 55%. There we go. So now we're making some sort of progress. This is going to take a really, really long time. So I think in the spirit of actually accomplishing something... Um, okay, i got to turn this grid off. I'm probably gonna time lapse this, honestly, because I don't think there's a, I don't think there's anything else we can really do while we're waiting, short of uh, just making sure we can uh, actually, you know, do literally anything. So let's uh, let's just fill these all the way up with experts, and then uh, try our very best to get this research done in a uh, quick and expedient manner. So I will time lapse this. I'll probably have to build some additional. Uh, housing for the professors and educated people, but uh, I'm not going to make you sit here probably for the next, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes while I attempt to uh, get this research done, because then I think we're going to be able to dive into the rest of this. I don't know. We'll see. We might have to split up uh, the rest of it into an episode of three. Uh, it depends on how fast we can get stuff done, but I will see you on the other side of this time lapse. All right, at long last, about an hour in real life of just time-lapsing this, we have finished our research, and we can move on to the next stage. So we got a little congratulations here from our education minister, and we can just go ahead and get rid of that. So, so far we got emergency Soviet university, higher education. I did also queue up the research for the distribution office in the uh, party headquarters while we were waiting. So I think, I think... 
we could probably get through a lot of this. Maybe all of it. Maybe a long episode. Who knows? If you clicked on the video, you know. Because, uh, well, you can see the runtime. But we'll go ahead and get started with coal mining. Yes, Minister of Industry. We will prioritize the development of coal mines so we can uh, have coal. So before we move too far, uh, I guess he's got to talk to us again. Yes, select locations where coal is abundant. Building mines in areas with higher coal reserves will optimize production efficiency. Yes. Oh, okay, that's far away. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's there's the rest of everything we've built. And here's this. All right. <laughs> it's so far away. <laughs> Oh man, in order in order to known location of natural resources, you need researches completed. However, the comrades from Soviet Union find a good place where coal is located. Start dig there. So I I I guess we're digging here. Build a coal mine of source quality at least fifteen percent. All right, fossil fuels. Yeah, there we go. You have a coal ore processing plant and a coal mine. Oh, this oh this is just like an ostrich. If you've seen uh, my videos on that, uh, this is, I, I actually don't know which, probably this would have come first. This game's been in development for a really long time. But in Austria, the, uh, the I think it's the the sand, sand, and then uh, salt works. Uh, when you go to build those buildings, they'll come up with these kind of dots like this. But uh, this is going to tell us what our source quality is. So we want to kind of move around and see if we can find something a little higher than, uh, well, it says at least 15%, but we want, uh, we want efficiency. Okay, there's nothing over here, nothing over here. So this might actually be the best spot on the map. I see 69. Uh, I don't see anything higher than that. Oh, zero. Yeah, okay, that's water. All right, so I guess... Can I find higher than 69? Can I find 70? No, it seems like it's literally just 69. Okay. There we go. All right, that goes there. So we've got... Uh, our own little slice the middle of nowhere all the way down here. Uh, I think trains are going to have something to do with this. I hope so, based on the uh, the distance we're going to have to be going here. But I digress. Now we have the coal mine. It's done. Well, it's not quite done. But um, yeah, we're going to have to build entirely new housing, everything down here. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be something, all right. All right, so that's done. Obviously, we don't have anybody working here yet. All right. We have we have set up a coal processing plant to transform the raw coal ore into the actual core needed for our industries. No, we haven't. We just have the raw core raw coal ore. Okay, we have to. I think I don't know. Maybe these need to be edited. Um, but it looks like oh, we have the conveyors. That's what that's what this is. We have to we have to line it up so these can actually talk to each other uh, with conveyors. So we have an output from here and we have an input from here. It'll automatically connect. Um, do we have a buffer we can put in? Oh, yeah, aggregate storage. That's going to be what it is. So we want to actually, before we do that, um, let's build... Uh, yeah, 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 I see your arrow. Uh, but I want to put in... Oh, that's enormous. Let's let's pause this so we don't f get these annoying pop-ups. Um, okay, so we have small aggregate storage. Looks like we've got conveyor belt in, conveyor belt out. That's very small, though. Um, that'll only store, store, excuse me, 870 tons of coal... 1950. Okay, that's just a tiny <laughs> re-storage. Um, 2,500, 2,000, 1,000, 5,000. I kind of want to build this giant. Th that's kind of that's kind of huge, just to store ore. So why don't we? Why don't we just? Uh, oh man, I, I really want to make a bigger one. I guess. I guess we'll do this. Just put in. Uh, oh, hold on. Wait, it has to flatten terrain. Oh, this is like at the. This is like a mountain right here. All right, maybe maybe let's not do a... I have to remember how to navigate this. Let's maybe not do that. Um, so if I had this set up... Oh, that's all I had to do? Okay. We'll put that there. It's going to build the conveyor belt. And then, then we'll build the ore processing plant. So we have conveyor belt outputs here. We have conveyor belt inputs here. So all we have to do... I guess I can... Uh, try to make this line. It doesn't really matter. I always get really uh, been out of shape about stuff not lining up, but it, it it really doesn't matter. So if I just put this here, that seems to be uh, seems to be working out just fine. That'll have nice conveyors attached. We'll let that go. Uh, and then we have to have an actual road coming through here. 
I guess we'll just run this right like so. We'll have to connect all this later. But these, of course, do have to be connected so they can have some sort of a uh, emergency service connection or uh, what have you. So this is going to go just like that, nice and uh, super straight, I suppose. So we're going to want to have housing around here. Um, we're going to get a pop-up, I'm sure. Objective is to manufacture a minimum of 100 tons of processed coal. To achieve this, let us focus our efforts on efficient mining, transportation, and processing of raw coal by optimizing operations. Da, 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 da. All right, cool. So, um, it's going to come out. Oh, there's 200, there's 220 worker slots here. Okay, so we're going to need to have, um, <laughs> we're going to have to have a lot of housing over here, which means we're going to have to have a grocery store and a pub and all that stuff. And we're going to have to connect it to the, uh, all the way up here. All right, so let's, uh, first off, let's actually get this. Is it going to let me go all the way up here? Oh, no way. Can I, can I zoom out to where I can actually see? Oh, this is, this is upsetting spaghetti with me now, isn't it? I'm not close enough to actually, uh, all right. Um, I wanted this to connect. There we go. Now I can actually see, find a spot in the clouds. We can adjust the radius of our curve. Not like it really matters, honestly. So, almost three kilometers. Get that hooked up. Um, that should, I think, line up. Yeah, all the way. Are you, are you absolutely, oh my god, man. You gotta be kidding me. All right. All right, we'll um, we'll we'll fix this real quick. That's so embarrassing. All right, I will just uh, I'll just pretend that didn't happen in front of uh, all the people who watched the video. That's all right. It's connected. That's all that matters. Now we can actually. Uh... Oh my god, are you serious? The streetlights are on the opposite side of the road. Oh, that's gonna make me so mad. Oh no, they match on this. That's fine. All right, all right, we're good. We're good. Crisis kind of averted, but I digress. Let's let's make ourselves some residential areas here. We've got to have uh, quite a few, quite a few of these guys uh, coming in here to work in the mines. And I guess, um, oh, they're they're gonna be able to walk just fine. So let's, um, yeah, let's let's just build. It's not, it's not going to line up perfectly, is it? Ah, oh well. Two of those will work out just fine. We'll put um, stores and stuff over here. But this will hold. Oh, they're already here. So that will pretty much take care of this entire population here. If these are 157 max. Oh, only 15. All right, 15 workers there. Uh, but we also need food and shopping. We have a grocery store. We've got shopping centers. Probably, probably should just build one of these. Oh, that's huge. Not that one. Small shopping center. There we go. And I guess this can be our little service road. Not like it really matters. Now uh, we'll just have this. Eh, we'll, we'll come right out here. That's, that's okay. Move it a little bit of the ways back. Small shopping center there. Uh, we need to have a pub. Predictably, that can go pretty much anywhere. All right, asphalt footpath. I don't think they're ever going to really want or need to go that way, but that will be fine, I suppose. Let's make our curve radius just a little bit smaller here. Go through here, just connect these two. And then this, there we go. See, that actually looks nice. Now they can access everything. And where's our... Of course, it's on the other side here. All right, that's uh, fine, I suppose. I need to make sure I'm not going to put anything else in here before I connect the rest of this. But uh, that's going to work out just fine. I've got 20 workers in the coal plant. Got five in the processing plant. Uh, we should see... Yes, coal is being sitting here. Almost 200 tons of coal produced. That's going to work out splendidly. I just hope... I know they're going to have me do trains. That like They have to... Oh, this is so not straight. We're going to move on. <laughs> I know I'm going to have to do trains, so I 
think we might actually have to uh might have to have some sort of other uh aggregate connection with the conveyor where's my out oh no <laughs> oh no oh this is such a disaster oh no i got i gotta oh i gotta i gotta move this i got i gotta break it down and rebuild it i said i can't get the conveyor out Oh, these are all the inputs. I'm not, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. All right, so we're going to, I know that just has to absolutely uh, enrage all of you, but uh, it's, it's, it's got to be done. I'm going to have to move this to be, we're going to, yeah, we're going to rotate this uh, right like so. I think it's going to be, uh, what do you mean? I just flattened the terrain. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right. <laughs> what a what a what a mess, huh? Oh, that's way too much. Oh, cool little S curve there. Um no, we're going to just have that set up like so. Yes, yes. Now I can, now I can actually have uh the output properly connected and I can also It's not going to let me uh no it is. Cool. So just pop that there. Pop that there, and then this, I guess I should have maybe uh, done this a slightly different way, but we're going to survive. This is just a tutorial after all. That's all nicely connected, uh, just so I'm not completely insane. Okay, good. <laughs> good. We have to have the conveyor belts to go out. Uh, this is still in range, easily. Um, I would need to have, I need to have some more guys in here. Uh, I don't. I definitely don't need experts over here. I have sellers and bar staff. Uh, these are auto-importing right now. I'm not going to try and set up uh, logistics uh, to get these guys coming down here. That's going to be a huge pain. Although I I imagine... Oh, it's not going to let me show it to you. Uh, but the, the distribution thing, I'm pretty sure, is going to want me to uh, only produce uh, local stuff. We'll see what happens. We might have to, uh, might have, to have a little bit of fun here. Um, third world now. Let's just uh, let's just fill this up. Get a bunch of guys in here. Uh, we're storing nice. So they're actually not making anything. It doesn't look. Oh, you know what? This didn't connect. Oh, that's such a okay. All right. Um. Oh, I did it again. I did it again. I did. I did it again. Oh no. Oh no, I don't I don't need pipe connection, I need aggregates. Oh what a mm. I can't I can't believe it. I, I literally can't believe it. Alright. Alright, gimme give gimme give gimme give this. Not gonna work there. Okay. Alright, that's the one thing that works. I guess I uh I defaulted to that not being a thing as soon as I had this set up, which is uh kinda weird, but whatever. The path can go there. Then go in that entrance, it's okay. No wonder it wasn't making anything. Oh, man, that is a... Uh, yeah. So we should see workers come in here pretty quick. There we go. They've got food. I am going to go ahead and put in some more uh, residential flats here, as opposed to industrial flats. I don't know. They're all all residential. doesn't really matter if these are congruent or not, but I don't know. We'll get this done just the same. Look up our paths all the way through here. And then, of course, we have to have the road coming along in front. There we go. Just so emergency services can get in. But now, now we should have enough workers to, no problem whatsoever, fully staff all of these things. This doesn't have staff. It's just storage. There we go. There we go. Happiness. To, wow, it's 70%. Yikes. All right. What of that can I solve? Oh, can't get clothes. Well, we, we got it right here at the shopping center. I mean, it's accessible to everybody, so I don't know if that's just a time thing, maybe? I don't know. But we'll get that. Uh, cannot store or... Oh. <laughs> oh, I, I know what I got to do. So we have to... All right. I know we're going to have to export this at some point, which is... This is where the train tracks are. We have to have room for them to come along here. I think they can do that. So we just need to make sure 
yeah, I've got to have, I got to have aggregate storage. I really, I should have done, should have done this earlier, but, um, oh, that's a big, has a big aggregate storage. Um, I need to have an output probably to a train station, I think would be, uh, the most, uh, sensical way to do it. All right, let's do, let's do that right there. And I think I'm going to have to have a conveyor overpass. Oh, that's going to be too close, isn't it? That is absolutely going to be too close. Can I... Uh... All right, I'm going to have to put in... Um... Oh, these are splitters. and Okay, I don't have to worry about that. This is going to have to be... Aha! Aha, aha, aha. Okay, this is going to be super ugly, but it's going to work. I promise you it's going to work. All right, so that's... Uh... <laughs> All right, so there's your uh, there's your conveyor going in here. Now we can actually store the coal that we're actually making 5,000 tons of it. Uh, All right, that's... I knew this was taking a long time. All right, so we made our coal. Good work, comrades. Diligent efforts in producing coal have been commendable. Yes, we uh, took it out of the earth and put it in a pile. Yes. All right. So now... Yeah, I told you this was... Ah, here we go. There's the coal expert. Yes, infrastructure will allow you to export coal and various other resources. Here we go. It's train time, boys and girls. All right. Minister of Transportation. Role involves overseeing the efficient movement of resources. I like this guy because he's involved with trains. Yes, trains prove to be the most efficient means for transporting aggregates like coal, ensuring a smooth flow of goods and supporting our economy. Let us optimize our train. Oh, yes, please. Let's build some trains. I love trains. In case you hadn't, uh, hadn't guessed already. Our objective is to construct a train loading station. Yep, there we go. Got to be connected to a building or conveyor engine that stores coal by establishing the loading station, etc. Okay, oh, it's train time. Train aggregate. Oh, why are there so many of these? Oh, that's just unloading? All right, um, that's too big. How many tracks is that? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Six of those. That's just two tracks. That's also just two tracks. What's up with that? All right. So let's let's be mindful here of uh, the inputs and also the fact that tracks have to uh, tracks have to come out of this. So uh, we want this to be accessible. I think right here. Ah, we need to flatten terrain, huh? That's going to be a uh, a fun thing for us to deal with. Um, do I do I want to? I guess I'll just. Uh, Oh, we can use conveyor engines. That's fine. I just, I know we're going to have to have a building that makes trains. So we'll just, uh, just pop that there. It's far away. Yes, I know. I know. It's going to be okay. So we need to have, yes, 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 yes. There we go. We'll just make ourselves a road here. And then we will do the same thing. Oh, isn't this smart? Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that. But I can actually have these roads connect. Look at us. Look at us. Look how look how ridiculous this is. Trade Depot. Yes, there we go. Crucial facility where trains can be purchased, configured, and set up for their designated tasks. So this is the heart of the railway network, enabling us to efficiently transport. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. But first we have to connect. Oh, come on, really? You gotta be joking. <laughs> Oh, I did it again. I did it again. All right. All right. All right, kids. <laughs> All right, kids. I say to the uh, the audience of grown adults with mortgages. <laughs> All right. I, I don't think this actually has to be connected to anything. But, uh, there we go. Okay. I forgot that wasn't a pass through. Train depot. Um, I got in station long train depot. Why? What's the difference between a long trade depot and a regular? Oh, okay. Longer trains, etc. Okay, so this actually has to... Oh, there's a road over here. Perfect. So we can... Um, hopefully the trains will actually tolerate this. And I can actually have everything set up. Because we, we are doing terraforming, just so we can get an idea of what the... Uh, oh, that's... Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Please do not build railroads with slopes greater than... Uh, 2.5% or whatever it is, I think. Oh, get out of here. I'm trying to build a road. Transport coal or efficiency, you should purchase a train. Yes, you do have to have a train to use a train. That is how that works. 
Okay, tra okay, that's that's all easy stuff. Now we were attempting to uh, do a little bit of terraforming. There we go, beautiful. And now we have to train terraform. So we have different railways: metro railway, electrified railway. We don't have electrified. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Are these the same price? Okay, so that's eighty meters is thirty nine hundred. Uh, how much is? Okay, that's substantially more money. Is it double tracked? No, still single tracked. All right, uh, wood based railway seventy kilometers. Yeah, that's that's too slow. All right, so what we will do? Okay, we got to flatten the terrain. It's not going to show me the slope, which is probably a good thing because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's not going to be pretty. But uh, that's connected. There we go. Train between coal source and custom house. So now, oh yes, now, now, friends, now we. <laughs> All right. So I know uh, it's not going to let me double track, is it? All right. So we're going to. We're just going to go completely. Oh, there's a farm here. That's right. We're just going to go completely straight, and we're going to double track this. There we go. Oh, it snaps. Oh, look at this. Oh, this game's amazing. I don't have to I don't have to sit here and freak out about stuff being lined up cuz it'll just snap to it. That is amazing. All right. 2.1 kilometers. So, we have to go around here to the customs house. I guess we could work our way back. Uh, there's three tracks we got to make uh crossovers. So, what I, what I was going to say before uh was uh I streamed a game called Sweet Transit uh, at this point, oh, several months back. It was sometime in oh, the middle or the, the last half of 2023. And that was an exercise in humility, <laughs> I think I think we can say, uh, because of the signaling mechanic. That's not even connected. The signaling mechanic was um, not my favorite thing to deal with. It was quite a challenge. Come on, let me connect to this. What, what's up with this? Come on. I know I, I know I can connect this. There we go. All right, so this has to go around this way. I guess we shouldn't really uh, shouldn't really worry about it too much. We're probably not going to be. Uh... Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's amazing. Oh yes, I am in love with this game. <laughs> oh, this transportation network. Transportation network engineering is fantastic. Look at look at look at this, folks. It, it'll automatically grate. Oh, look at that! It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. All right, so we. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, what I've been trying to say is um, part of the fun, shall we say, uh, that I had with Sweet Transit was figuring out how signals worked, and you can see right here we got regular signals, chain signals, and then I guess combo signals. That was, mm, that was an experience, and we can, oh, yeah, we can make this very, very gradual, very nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Look, look at this beautiful train line. Oh, that's, oh, that's amazing. So, now we have to have a fun time with switching tracks, because we have a, a double main line here. I'm going to do... Uh, some crossovers. Let's do a length of 50 meters between those. And um, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to signalize. It's not going to let me put this here, is it? <gasps> oh, no way. There's no way it's actually going to let me uh, get away with this. I think, yeah, if I do chain signal here and here and here and here, that should... Oh, I don't, this might actually not work. I might have to... Uh, I might have to actually... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So here, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Like, legitimately probably actually having too much fun with this. All right, so that's uh, not perfectly straight anymore, I guess. All right, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to set up a crossover that's just going to automate itself. So I think what I'm going to have to do... I might have to just not do... Uh, 
not do these right next to each other. So the chain signal, uh, as this tooltip says, pre-signal, uh, what that does is it looks ahead to the next signal on the line, and based on what that signal says, we'll route uh, or either let a train through or not let a train through, and then if you put it in front of a switch, I guess it'll help route it. So we put a chain signal here that will look ahead and see here or here. There we go. So that should, even if I cross this over again and don't have signals in the middle, it should be able to detect which track is which. I think... For, for the purposes of this tutorial, we probably really don't need to worry about it, but I'm sure this game gets into excruciating detail with uh, train logistics. But uh, point being, we have to set up signals here so that we can actually have uh, multiple trains running at once, which I'm sure we're going to have to do to uh, export all of this. And uh, by having these crossovers, they can pass each other and they can go to different spots. So I will put in probably... Probably just uh, a couple more of these. When I say 50 meters was the length we're going on. Yeah, let's let's just keep it simple, stupid, and put a uh, chain signals here, and then we'll do another one up here. I, I just I want them to not have to wait for the other train to completely be done uh, before switching over or continuing. So now we we've got little blocks here that can be occupied by different trains, and of course we can put uh, just in the middle regular old signals to subdivide that as well there we go then we'll do one more here one more here and then um this is going to be the fun thing uh combining all of this is going to be it's going to be something else i guess we probably don't need to worry about the third track so we'll just leave it alone for now but i uh i will do a crossover here can i get can i get to 50 no. Okay. Well, we'll do we'll do 40 here. That should be okay. And chain signal chain signal. That should work out just fine. So as long as this is all one block, it won't send another train into here and it'll just cross over. Should be okay. And as long as there's only one signal in between, it should never get trains trapped. I think is how that works. So, oh, I forget when you uh, when you push shift and also middle mouse button, it wants to zoom in and out. Kind of helpful, kind of not. I don't know. So now we have to we have to build or buy what? Okay, so what's in the the NATO side? What what can we? Wow. Okay. There's a lot. Okay, these are uh, these are, I think approximating the uh, like your GP series high hood diesel locomotives. GG one. Yeah, that's Pennsylvania Railroad ran that one forever. Um, okay, those are just cars. You can get a Metro London tube stock. That's fascinating. Anyway, we're not buying from the NATO. We're buying from the Soviet Union. And we did not electrify, so we have to use these. I'm assuming they're just diesel-powered. Um, so we have... Wow, they used this until 2000? Well, Soviet Union wasn't used it in 2000. Um, say maximum speed 95 kilometers, 80... 97, 100, 70, 60, 20, wait, is that a tank? No, that's a, okay. <laughs> no, that's a, uh, that's like a crane. Train set, okay, that's passengers. Uh, electrified, a hun okay, that's passengers, 150 kilometers. Um, f a pig, yeah, 40 kilometers, you bet. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to use this TE7. And then uh, coal, I'm pretty sure. We'll have to go in a hopper car. Yes. So we'll do eight, eight of those. I think should be um, should be enough to get a really good amount of stuff going here. So we'll go to the vehicle. Oh nope, I can't. I I forget. I forget. I have to always. Always hit that. There we go. So now we have to have a stop at the aggregate loading and then at the customs house. Uh, load 100% of anything. Unload 100% of anything. And then hit launch. And we'll get to see our train. Excellent work, comrades. Now let the train do its job efficiently with the export. 150 tons of coal. All right, cool. So I'm, I'm actually going to follow this because I feel like that would be a fun thing to do. 150 tons of coal we should... Oh, yeah, we can hold 400. 
So I think they're going to load that all the way up. And then uh, that'll be nice to export 400 tons at once. We'll make some money doing it too. Because we've been hemorrhaging. Hemorrhaging money. Alright, we're full up. 400 tons of coal. Go up to 100 kilometers an hour, which really isn't very fast. But I guess in 1961 that would be pretty fast for a freight train in the Soviet Union. Yep, so you can see the signal's already red. I love, I love the details. But why is our happiness only 57%? Well, we're going to have to, uh, oh, 4,800 times they're unable to get closed. All right, we'll have to, we'll have to fix that, maybe. I am just, I'm really impressed with how this train system is set up. That looks really nice. I mean, I didn't do a great job leveling the terrain or anything, but um, this is looking really good, folks. Really, really pleased. So then, yep, I don't know why it's switching to the other track, but it is. And we're going to unload. It'll take its time. Uh, we'll complete this objective before the train's completely unloaded. And I'm assuming we're going to have to do something else next. All right. So now we can, oh, we can do iron mining, and then, oh, I haven't... Uh, I thought I had researched the distribution office. Maybe they didn't finish it. Anyway, iron mining it is. Hello, Minister of Industry. I must emphasize the significance of mining iron. Vital material for producing steel. Yep, okay. Iron mines play a critical role in our nation's development. Raw iron ore, etc. Yes, we probably the same thing as the coal we've already done. So we need an iron mine with a source quality of 15%. So uh, we're going to regrettably leave our train here. Oh, cool. So there's an iron mine right here without having to go all the way across. Or I guess it just automatically had me look here. I don't know. Let's uh, take a look. See. Oh, quality of source zero. OK, so they lied to me is what they did. Um, no iron, no iron. All right. That's um, starting to concern me here. Zero. Zero, zero. Okay, that's water. What about down here? Zero. Oh, you got to be kidding me. We're going to have to go over here, aren't we? Mm, okay, here we go. Oh, that is unfortunate. 20, can I, how high can I go here? Okay, here we go. 60, 70 something. Okay, cool. 71? Um... Do I have any more? How far away am I actually? Okay, we're still still pretty far. Um, 75? 76? Okay, can we get any higher than 76? Alright, looks like that's going to be about, uh, about there. So we will have the road face. Oh, we actually need to pay more attention to where the conveyor is facing. And that will go right there. So, um, as soon as that's done, I imagine we're going to have to have iron ore processing. Oh, and then a steel mill. Well, that's a separate, uh, that's a separate deal. Uh, they're going to get that done. So I suppose, I suppose, yeah, yep, 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 yep. We got to get that situated. Why is this always set up in weird ways? So I have to have that. Iron ore processing plants are indispensable in transforming raw iron ore. Yes, very good. Iron processing plant. I need to have probably, probably a buffer storage in between these. Um, dry bulk storage. Oh, that's cement and aluminum oxide. Okay, we're not doing that. Aggregate storage. Oh, you know what I can do? You know what I can do is I can have this just be right here. I probably didn't need to be able to store... How much is this going to be? Is this the 5,000 ton one? Yeah, it's probably completely necessary. Uh, but the processing plant can now, because of how this is set up... Uh, am I going to have to have the train come over here? That's going to be that's gonna be a huge pain. Oh, man, that's so far away. All right. I'm um, going to have to have the processing plant uh, take that in. And then probably have to have storage outside of that. But I, I do want to have these things actually connected here. So I suppose... Oh, the output's on that side. That's going to be... Uh, 
That's going to be fun. I guess we'll just go over here. That should be fine. And I'll put that like so. And then this is going to have to have a storage as well. Yo, yeah, oh, this is the 5,000 ton one. Yeah, probably, probably didn't need that. Um, if I do, where's the, uh, where's the door? Right this? Yeah, so let's do, let's do that, but then uh, not let them do that. So we have mine going into the aggregate storage, going into the processing plant, going into the aggregate storage. Produce 80 tons of iron ore. Okay. Uh, and then out of this, I think we're going to have to have um, some sort of transportation to a central location. We're probably going to have to uh, come off over here and deliver some of our coal instead of being exported into a steel mill, if I had to hazard a guess. But we have to get all of this connected. Um, oh, we're going we're gonna to have to bridge this river here. Uh, uh, uh. So why don't we... This goes directly to the custom house. Let's just uh, let's just come over here and uh, pick us a spot that's kind of directly over there. Where's the narrow spot? Oh, narrow spot in the river. Perfect, right there. I actually don't know how the bridge uh, the bridge setup works in this game. So let's just come back here and then. Uh, oh no, I don't want that. Hold on, we gotta zoom in the correct way. And we're just gonna roll with that. Why did that not? Uh, why did that not do both uh, both curbs like this? <laughs> it even has the uh, <laughs> cross bucks and the uh, the gates and everything. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so we got a bridge. Got a bridge across this. Um, I know we can we can build concrete bridge. We got steel brick bridges. Okay, 30 kilometers an hour, don't want that. This road, I'm pretty sure, can only do 110, so we probably shouldn't be too concerned with speed limits. Actually, I don't think any of these can even do 110. Uh, concrete bridge. Oh, that's pretty low. I hope we don't have to do shipping down this river. That would be a, kind of a disaster. Um, oh, okay, this raises height E. Oh, I can do approaches. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. So let's go up to... Let's go up to uh, 18, 18 meters across. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. Assuming this is straight, which is probably not, and I'm not going to lose any sleep over this. We're gonna, we're going to choose life today. All right. Um, I should have measured my bridge approach, but we'll just, uh, we'll just have. Uh, it's not the most beautiful thing I've ever made. That's actually, that's uh, actually pretty foul. Get on with it. Stop playing with it. Okay, no. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. We just have to uh, just have to make a reasonable bridge approach that we know we can. Or we could actually... Uh... Ooh. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. Look at that. that... Oh, that's going to be beautiful. It's going to be glorious. We're, <laughs> we're going to have such a nice time with this bridge that we're just going to completely ignore when we finish with the tutorial in, I don't know, half an hour. Long video, kids. Uh, but this will come in here. I guess we'll just uh, make that straight. This can come out here. Connect there. So this now has to connect. I guess that's not going to be a uh, not going to be a fun thing, is it? All right. Can I can I manage to zoom in correctly here? All right. Connect to that like so. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, look at look at us making perfect 90 degree things that probably aren't going to matter. All right. Well, I think we can be reasonably satisfied with this. Now we actually have to produce it, which means we have to have people working here, which means we have to make ourselves a little town, which we know we can do. How many how many jobs? Oh, 250. All right. So we're going to have to build like four or five of these things. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. We can't build there because that's where the uh, <laughs> that's where all that stuff uh, has to go in. So we will instead. Uh, we have to do terrain flattening, huh? All right. So I'll tell you what. Um. Yeah. Let's pop this in. All 
Probably doesn't matter, honestly, but uh, we'll just do it anyway. This is not straight. Now it... Nope, it was. Right, we'll build one more right here. I think I can fit a road between these. All right. There we go. There we go. Making progress that was not quite centered. Uh, we'll live with that. Connect here, connect here, connect here, connect here. Okay, so now they can all walk to work. With the exception of right here, we have to connect pedestrian paths. And I learned my lesson last time about all this weird, weird path connections and all that fun stuff. So that can go here. We probably don't actually have to have this set up like this, but uh, we'll just do it anyway. Oh, that's not going to let me connect, is it? Mm, okay. That's ugly, but uh, I'll allow it. That'll work out just fine. All right, so now these flats are all connected. They can go to work. They can. St oh, okay, wow, that was quick to make 80 tons of iron. Cool. All right, good work, comrades. Yes, indeed. So now, ah, yes, steel production. Oh, we still have... All right, before we... We're going to we're gonna real quick just come over here to our uh, Communist Party headquarters. I thought I had researched this. All right. That's going to be annoying to have to wait on this. Um, so I'm just going to... Uh, why do I only have... Uh, what happened to all my party officials? Are they all working at the university? Oh, we haven't done any of this. I don't think I'm going to have to do this for this tutorial. Airport infrastructure? Oh, no. Um... What was the one that she said we needed to fertilization? Eh, I'm not gonna not gonna run any research. I need I need more of these. <laughs> I need more party officials. This is gonna take us five thousand years to actually uh, actually get any of this done here. Let's uh, let's get some more guys in here. Yeah, I I really I need them to. Uh, Need them to figure it out. Let's let's get some more people in here. All right, that's uh, we're just gonna have to leave that alone. I really thought I had already set that up. All right, so uh, objectives: steel production. Greetings, yes, hello. Uh, steel production, etc. Um, yep, no surprises there. Steel mill is a substantial industrial facility where production of steel takes place at the mill. Raw materials, coal and iron ore are combined through complex processes to get the final product, steel. Significant facility plays an important role in our nation's industrial development, so we have to build a steel mill. All right. So we can, um, we can build it here or we can build it closer to the rail line. I think we're probably going to want to do that uh, closer to the rail line. Because uh, we're going to have to export. I am sure we're going to have to export this. So let's um, yeah, let's have this be... I guess we can go a little closer to the road. There's no real... Uh, i got to make sure I have room to get the trains in here. All right, let's do that. And then this is going to be... Uh, this is going to be the fun, fun part. Is uh, getting all this... All right, so let's do... Let's do 100 meters. No real uh, specific reason, just nice and easy. Mm, oh, am I going to get away with this? <laughs> okay, folks. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely glorious. Can I, can I do it again? Can I do it again? I don't think it's going to let me do it again. Oh, no way. No way. That's so busted. All right. We'll do it. So that'll have to go in there. Uh, there is not a crossover near here, but there is one right here. That's going to be useful. So let's go ahead, do this. Next objective is to transport both iron ore and coal to the steel mill. Yep, I already knew that. Oh, you ding dong. You blocked my shot here, man. Come on. That is a common foul all day long. All right. 
Uh, let's get that hooked up here. There we go. So we do want uh, we want these to be signalized. Um, oh, is it gonna let me? Good. Uh, just so it can pick which track it's gonna send them to. Hello? Can I? Can I not? Can I not? Oh, okay, because that's a uh, that's a switch. That's a frog right there. Not the ribbit kind of frog. Devilish fun. I know you're watching. Appreciate you. But that's the uh, railroad term for the uh, the points that move. Okay. So we need to signalize this. Come on. And then a chain signal here to decide which track it goes to. And then um, I guess that's probably okay either way. Because if it's, it's not going to bypass through the steel mill, that should be okay. But we do also have to have our cross over here. So what did I say we were going to do 50s? Oh, yeah, again, it probably doesn't matter. But we will uh, we will chain signal away. Works. Cool. So that is now rail connected. Uh, we will have to have uh, another train to deliver here instead of just exporting. So let's actually check. How much are we storing? Oh, we, we're full up. All right, so that means we have plenty what in the world? Citizens' happiness is too low. Yeah, we know. We're gonna we're gonna fix it. Maybe we have a choice. We can build another train line to come over here, or or we can do something really stupid. <laughs> I mean, really stupid, and build a conveyor all the way, all the way over here. Trucks would be completely inefficient. Um, but I I kind of I kind of don't feel like messing with the. Uh, all the other trains and stuff that would have to be necessary, at least not right now. So just, just because we can, let's, <laughs> let's, let's do something. Let's do something a little bit stupid here. We can, we can have some fun with this. Okay, so I want to. Uh, there we go. Come on, let me, let me line this up. There we go. Put that there, and then I believe, I believe. I can have this, uh, okay, no, it's gonna have to be an engine on the other side here. I need, I need this to connect to here. It's probably not gonna let me, uh, oh, cause it's gotta go over the road, that's, that's why. I don't, I don't need, like, three of these to come in, stop it. Is there one of these that's actually high on the other side? Oh, overpass, yes, that's what I want. Mmm, I wish I could build it on an existing roads. That would be super nice. So I'll tell you what. Oh, that's not going to let me. Not going to let me do it. All right. All right, we got to pause the game because I'm about to commit crimes against Skyrim and her people here. Um, get rid of that. We're going to re... <laughs> oh, this is, this is too much fun to do stupid nonsense here. Let's just put this... Oh, no, I got to make sure it's straight. There we go. Yes. All right, so that's going to come out right there and crossed, thankfully, over here. Um, so if we want to keep this elevated, we probably uh, probably do coming across here. Let's uh, get this going. That works. Make sure I'm not... Uh, Okay, that's too far. Can I? Oh, yes. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. Wait, can I not actually, uh, can I not actually bridge that? Oh, man, I thought that was going to be a slam dunk. I guess not. I guess not. We're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of intermediary, uh, nonsense here. There we go. Up that right there. And then right on the other side, yes. We're not going to need all these roads, but this does keep it... Uh, how long can I... Ah, yep. Yeah, let's go building the building. Yep, we're just going to have to keep on, keep on, keeping on here. Is this incredibly stupid? Why, yes, it is. Are we going to have fun with it anyway? Yes, we are. Because you know how we roll. It's also a good chance I just time lapse this because let's let's be honest, this is kind of kind of dumb. All right, so we have a uh, we have entrances right here that we have to get the uh, stuff into. So 
now what I think we will have to do is just, uh, why do I have four of these? I probably should actually learn what these each do, but I think for right now it's fine. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just use these in case. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. There we go, folks. All right. So the world's most stupid, stupid iron conveyor is gonna have to come all the way across. Is it? Is it actually going to? Uh, is that actually gonna work? <laughs> All right, so the steel mill. Yep, it has iron and needs coal. So I guess it's already full. Wow, that was really fast. So now we got to set up a train to actually go between here and here. So let's go buy a, uh, I guess, a TE7 again. Uh, get our cargo wagon, hopper car. This can only hold 150 tons, which I think is three hopper cars. Oh, you know what? You know what I should have done instead? You know what I should have done instead is I should have had the train stop at the unloading station. Oh, no. All right, well, that, that's going to be fine. We'll just run uh, just run this guy here. All right, so it's going to go there all the way up to here. And I guess we'll launch that and... Yep, we definitely, definitely should have had a, uh... Oh, I want... Oh, this is going to be so cheaty. I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. But can I... <laughs> can I... Can I possibly... Wait, where's the export? Where's the, uh... Where's the output for this? There is no output for this. All right. Well, I was about to get fresh and uh, try to uh, have it output the uh, output the coal and then put it back into itself so I could use it as kind of like a recursive uh, storage. But it is um, it's got 150 tons of the coal, so now we just have to uh, actually staff this. 500 workers. Is there a uh, where's the pedestrian entrance on this? Oh, good. There's one here. So, I'm just going to have this go all the way out here. We're going to have to build another city over here. You know how this goes. We've done this, at this point, a lot of times. Put that there. Put that there. Build another, uh, another couple right here. Mm -mm. So four is probably not going to be quite enough. Let's do another set here. All right, so that's going to require roads. Oh, uh, I've got to get rid of the path. Congratulations, comrade. With successful operation of the steel mill, we've taken a significant step forward. We're industrial progress. Now our next objective is to produce a minimum of 60 tons of steel. Okay. Well, I figured I was actually going to be able to... Uh... Unemployment's too high. It's at 3%. Seems like it's about national average, usually. I don't know. Maybe in a communist society, that's not acceptable. But this is basically full. We're making... Oh, we have 150 tons storage. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to export. Uh, but we do need to have this set up. How's our research going on... Okay, that is finished, I guess. Yeah. All right, so we'll we'll do that'll be the last thing we do. This is a long video, man. I am sorry. <laughs> I am sorry for the mess that this is. Uh, let's let's pause real quick. I just I I I gotta do this. I gotta do it the right way. Gotta have this come through across. Oh, beautiful railroad crossing, easy peasy. And then this can be. Uh, Ho 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 ho! Look look at look at this look at this. We can actually we can actually use this stupid thing. Is this actually gonna let me? Ooh, that actually 
Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. All right, so now we can unpause. I probably shouldn't have paused it to begin with, but you know how this goes. This needs to go across the street. There we go, and we are... Well, we have 40 workers, really? After all these? All right. Well, they better... Uh... Oh, we're out of coal. I probably should have more than one... Uh... More than one little... Oh, look at this. They're uh, side by side. This is why you double track your main line, folks. So you can run multiple trains at once. And then there she goes. Nice. Very good. We just need to uh, be able to store it. Next time, next time I will use the, uh, the train unloader thing instead of directly into the steel mill. But that's fine. We need to have um, food and such. Uh, this needs to be... Nope, that's the wrong one. I don't know why I have so many shopping centers, but... I suppose probably would be smart for us to uh, not not build ourselves into a corner here. So I, I guess this is fine, because I know how these Vehicles coming in here always like to be kind of a pain in the butt. So we'll do that. We'll get our pedestrian path put in. That works. So they can all walk to the store. Yep. Except they can't here. Oh, I didn't connect these. Wow, that's um, that's embarrassing. Well, that might explain why we only had so many people working there. Now, now this actually works. Okay. And then, uh, where's my pub? There we go. Do the same thing. I guess we'll just pop that right there. That's all right. Perfect. And they are importing this. If we want to actually do distribution, I'm assuming that's what this other thing's going to be. Well done. Epperson steer product, steer production. That's cattle. Steel production. Positive results. Yes. Good. Oh, that, that's it? I didn't have to export it? Okay. Alright, goods. The last one. Greetings. Ah, oh, it's him again. Second secretary of the Communist Party. Alright. So now we have to do goods distribution. Okay, this is what I thought we were going to have to do at the beginning. Is have a central warehouse or uh, logistics hub. Because that's what the distribution office is. If you noticed a whole lot of cuts, it's because I'm currently hacking myself to death. <laughs> I've, I've got a cut, and I've got to mute my mic and everything, so patience uh, is appreciated. Thanks for bearing with me. Let's talk about the distribution office. It's an important building in the logistical network equipped with cargo trucks, manages the movement of goods efficiently. We're only responsible for assigning loading points. At oh, that's so good. I was worried I'd have to do each individual thing back and forth forever. Oh, that's so good. All right, so let's do that. Let's build one. General cargo distribution, we've got a small, we've got a medium, and we've got a distribution office free. Uh, 12 spots for vehicles. All right, so where do we want to put this? I don't know that we need to have more than one, but uh, most of our production uh, food-wise, well, all of the production food-wise is here. So let's, um, let's just put this yeah, right across the... Uh, Right across the way from uh, the party headquarters, I suppose. Might as well. So, we'll let them build that. And then I'm sure they'll tell us how to hook everything up. Because we should be... Oh, we're not producing nearly enough crops. <laughs> we got 5,000 people. That's not not nearly enough. Alright. Uh, requires vehicles. They'll transport goods between warehouses and shops. Purchase cover hold trucks to transport food, clothes, and alcohol. Designate factories or warehouses containing food, clothes, and alcohol as source points. This, oh, oh, good. This is so much easier. You might have seen me during the uh, during the time lapse, kind of manually signing trucks to go back and forth different places. Um, but I'm not going to buy two. I'm going to buy way more than two of these covered whole trucks. Um, all right. So we have the giant ones. We got some smaller ones. I'm just going to do all of these. <laughs> All right, so we got 12 of those. 
They'll be taking their sweet time. So now we have to come in here. Oh, I can only do 20? Okay. Um, Alright. So this is... That's an unload. That's an unload. Um... I'm going to do shopping centers and pubs, just because I know I have to do that in grocery stores. Uh, right here, right here. We have another one down here. All right, so we have eight unloads. That's grocery stores, pubs, shopping centers, pubs, etc. cetera. Uh, and then I think, did I not... Uh... Yeah, I definitely didn't. Let's, before we get too far, let's actually give these people something to eat. Might be a... Uh... Might be advisable. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe just a hunch. People might want to eat something. Alright, so that's going to be... Is this going to let me uh, do this? There we go. Alright, that works. That's connected there. And then we will also put in the pub. As one does. Is this going to let me build this here? I'm going to have to go... Uh... Yeah, we'll just... Uh... We'll just come around to this side. That's alright. All right, and that's... Yeah, there you go. You have drunk people cross the street. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Yeah, that's fine. They'll be okay. Oh, they can, they can stop by the pub after a day at the uh, iron ore processing plant. Sounds like a healthy uh, activity. All right, so now I've got to add these two, and I'm pretty sure this should be it. All right, so we have 10 out of 10. Source building for food... Um, oh no, I don't, I don't want that. I want the, uh, the warehouse. No, not the food factory. Okay, so this is, uh, load, where's food? Food, okay. Uh, clothes, I think are in this. This one is pretty much only food and alcohol. All right, so bear with me here. I'm learning. Oh, we already assigned it. I have to come in here and do... Alcohol, and then, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This becomes the source for... Oh, I guess it's just going to go away. Oh, now we have to turn off all the imports. Okay. Um, that was clothes. And am I selling textiles to my citizens or no? Or fabric. Okay. So, now we've got to come in here, and we've got to just cancel all of this. And I'm sure we're going to run into... Uh, oh, that was already turned off. I'm sure we're going to run into problems trying to fulfill stuff. Uh, but, ah, uh, yeah, 50 days self-sufficient with uh, out and buying. So I think that's going to be... Uh, <laughs> it's going to be another time lapse, folks. But we'll, uh, we'll get this all configured on camera, and then I will spare you the misery <laughs> of watching this for uh, all that amount of time. But we're uh, almost there. Okay, turn that off, and then turn that off. I believe that's all of them. I think. Did we do, uh... Ah, no, we didn't do those. Okay. Oh, oh, good. Oh, good, it was going to remind me. All right. So I think we're done. I think we're good. So now I just have to see if this will actually advance uh, to one once we reach the end of the 2nd of May. Uh, 19 is 61, and if that's the case, and we could feed everybody, then, my friends, we're done. Let's check and see. Alright, I don't see that advancing. Uh, okay, so we're still, still importing food, alcohol, or clothes. I see, I thought, I thought we'd taken care of that. Okay, that's not auto-importing. Aha! That is no longer auto-importing. Although we probably do need to actually import the chemicals. That should be fine. Hospital, uh, that's vehicles. The farm, no. Uh, fertilizer we can't make, so that should be okay. Uh, that's not importing. That's not importing. Oh, come on. Are you gonna, are you gonna tell me what building it is? That's not importing? Or that is importing that shouldn't be importing? Because I, I thought we'd, uh, we'd already litigated this. Oh, okay, now it says one. Okay, so I guess 
what we'll do is I will, uh, I'll just have this watch our trains here for a little bit. Wait, why did they go down to zero? Oh, come on. Or is it because we're not making enough? But if we're not importing it at all, then it shouldn't be an issue. All right. Um, where do I go to check on my... Uh, cause I have all these... I bought all these vehicles in the road depot, but I don't know... Like, I've got, I've got them going in and out. See, I should not be... I should not be... Uh, see, now it says one. But it was one before, and then it went down to zero. So what's up with that? I guess we have to wait to see if this goes up to two. Because I'm like 90% sure. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, man, that was going to be <laughs> that's gonna be so stressful. If I had to figure out how to just redo this. What is happening here? Oh, that's all the... Uh, that's the crops going in here. Yeah, that's uh, not my not my finest work. <laughs> getting this uh, getting this organized a little bit better, but uh, folks, I think that is going to be it. Where the, the the clock is ticking up, so I will time lapse the rest of this. We'll sit here, we'll watch our beautiful trains go by, have our people walking, and I will see you on the other side of the next fifty in game days. I'm sure it's going to be another forty five minutes or an hour or whatever. Bruh. I regret to inform you the countdown has started over, and I don't know why. And I, I actually don't know how to check statistics on stuff, but I can only assume it's because we aren't producing enough. So let's take a second here. That's uh, I thought those statistics. That's a list of a uh, list of bus stops and. Uh, wait, hold on. I don't need to be doing this. This line doesn't need to exist. I can, uh, I can get rid of that entirely. That'll save some of our uh, our traffic easy. Yeah, because these are the uh, these are the tiny trucks that I had set up. Don't need that. We're automatically distributing everything with the distribution center, so that's fine. The uh, custom house, we are. Uh, we're doing to export to sell coal. Uh, we are still massively hemorrhaging money, but I think that's probably because we invited a whole bunch of people. And uh, it, wait, why did is this just automatically filling everything? Oh, that's exactly what it's doing. Are my people moving out? I don't know, but we're, we're up to five out of 50. I wish I could figure out how much I'm actually making. I don't know what that is. One of these has to be. Um, overlays what is this resources okay that's not that's not gonna be helpful uh, economy and trade okay um, import export I should not be importing anything uh, food wise at least uh, domestic production and consumption I really should learn how to you know read all this uh, tourism at uh, zero no surprises there we haven't done anything with that we're up to seven seven days self sufficient, so maybe yeah, we got tons of food. We have enough alcohol. We have enough clothes. So maybe it's just not able to keep up with uh keep up with everything. So why why are all these trucks parked? They should be uh they should be driving around. So that's unload, unload, unload. Unload, unload. I okay, that is set to load. Storage percent. Why is that set to zero? I'm just gonna. Why can I only go at 89? All right. I wonder if that actually makes a difference. Do I have to have? Do I have to have employees for this? I mean, they can they can reach it. I don't know how this works. <laughs> so if you uh. If you play this game and you understand, please do let me know because I'm very confused. There's only, there's, there's only two of these going right now. So I don't know if that's just a thing where they store the stuff here. Maybe? I don't know, but this is up to 10. Hopefully it doesn't reset again. That was annoying to see at least twice. But it looks, it looks like we're actually adequate. 
But why are these trucks not all going? It just isn't being driven. Why is that? I feel like it, sh feel like it shouldn't matter. I don't have any... Uh, I got three unemployed due to sickness. Yeah, one of these trucks... See, it went down to zero again. What, come on, what gives? What gives? I got, I got 12 of these trucks. Are people just not... Uh, Oh, I, I think I know what it is. Wait. No. So, alright, alright, what, what's up with this? Why does this keep resetting? And why are they only using one truck? It's not working for anything. It's not transporting anything. Is that because I have this set to... Uh, Vehicles load cargo from building when building storages are filled to a bigger percentage than this. Oh, this needs to be lowered. Okay. All right, let's try that. Let's try that. See if we uh, see if we can use more than two of these trucks at once. Is that set to fifty? Okay. All right. All right. Hopefully, hopefully this is the last time we have to mess with this. So I guess now we can uh, now we can just watch these guys see if we use any more than three, and hopefully the next time I talk to you we'll have finished this. This is I've been recording for over three hours at this point. Nope, it reset again. Son of a biscuit eating bulldog. I I honestly I I, I got nothing. I I don't know, don't know why it's doing this. I have plenty of stuff, plenty of stuff. Not a problem with clothes. Not a problem with food. Not a problem with alcohol. So I, I, I mean, I, I can't tell you. Maybe it just has to catch up. I don't know. The trucks keep coming back in. So is it because everything's too far spread out? Like that, that has to be. It has to have something to do with it. We've got plenty of alcohol here. We've got food. We've got clothes. Yeah, I mean, it's, it should work. It should work. But it didn't tell me anything. I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess I guess I just have to make more, even though I, we clearly have enough. Because we have plenty of clothes, plenty of uh, plenty of alcohol, plenty of food. It is a mystery to me. Well, this is very uh, very far away, so maybe maybe it just takes so long to deliver it. That it can't have a uh, can't have a chance. So we are we're way down here. These guys, I mean, they've got it. They've got it in stock. So what is the? Uh... I guess I just have to uh, manage these things. I don't know. I don't know. I would have figured. So it would have been fine. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just not understanding how this is supposed to be set. I gotta move my electronics numbers down a little bit so I can have more room to unload clothes and food. So may, maybe I should. Maybe I should take those down to, uh, there we go. 51, 33, and 16. Let's try that. Let's just try playing with these. I think that's what it was set to. 51, 33, 16. It doesn't have to be the same, but I think that does. There we go. I mean, eh. Close enough. Close enough. We're up to six days. Let's come up here. Uh, close enough. All right, we're up to seven. Please, please use more than three trucks. I don't know. I don't. I. I literally don't know. Like it says, questions and answers. Does he actually have any? All right. Um. Okay, that's not really. Uh, not really super helpful. I don't think. No, this doesn't have anything to do with the. Uh, the thing I was messing with. Uh, industry transportation. Distribution offices, okay. Okay. 
Okay. That doesn't tell me anything. Containers. Oh, we're not, we don't have containers yet. I just want to know why... Why we, we aren't using all 12 vehicles. Like, it really, it really shouldn't... Uh, it should be using all the vehicles, no? You would think... Unless I'm supposed to be having... I don't see any containers. No, I can't even buy those. So, what's up with that? I got all these... All these covered trucks doing all the clothing. So, we're up to 10 days, but I, I don't want it to... I don't want it to reset. That would just absolutely tilt me. Now it's up to 11. So we got we got tons of food. We have more than enough food. That's why this is why this is irritating me so much. Oh well. It 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 just it doesn't want to use more than three. Baffling. Well, we we've been 12 days, so I guess uh, I guess we'll try time lapse again. See you on the other side. All right, friends, that's it. We've finally completed all the bits of the tutorial, I guess, campaign, tutorial, whatever you want to call this. So we get a congratulations from our friend, uh, second secretary of the Communist Party. And that's it. Campaign completed. Congratulations. Against all odds, you've successfully laid down the foundation for a brand new republic and a barren land. With unwavering determination, you've transformed this once desolate place into a thriving nation. Your visionary leadership has paved the way for a bright and promising future where the dreams of self-sufficiency, self progress, and independence have become a reality. Uh, achievement represents triumph, hope, and perseverance. Boy, this goes on and on. And your legacy as the founding leader of this remarkable republic will be celebrated for generations to come. All right, so that's over with. Um, so yeah, that's that's all for the campaign as far as we currently have access to. Uh, obviously, lots of stuff we could have done a little bit better. Uh, moved some other things around, improved health and uh, enjoyment of different things and all that. But we did manage to complete the campaign. So now is when I ask you guys, do you want to see a proper video series on this game? Uh, I don't think I want to live stream this, but uh, if you would be interested in a regular video series, maybe once a week, uh, do let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. This is a very long one. It's probably going to be the longest video I have ever put up on the channel, but I did want to go ahead and uh, knock the rest of this out and not drag it out to be three, four, five different videos. When in reality, if I had done everything correctly, this would have been maybe only about three hours to do the entire campaign. But uh, obviously, <laughs> I did not. I'm over here looking at my OBS window, and it says I've been recording for three hours, ten minutes, and three seconds for this session alone. That's going to get edited down, uh, hopefully at least an hour off of that. But uh, that's it. Very much appreciate you folks, Beard Boosters, as well. All of their support makes it possible for me to keep doing these videos. And uh, more importantly, keeps all the garbage ads and integrations that nobody really wants to see off the channel and i'm very very grateful for that support so hopefully uh, we'll see you again in another video soon we do have timberborn coming out tomorrow uh, and then of course back on tuesday as well and then prison architect wednesday and i don't know what's going to be coming on saturdays now that this campaign is done but if you want to see more of workers and resources soviet republic we can make that our saturday video if uh, you guys want to see it but i'm not going to do it unless the, the majority of you guys want to see want to make sure it's something you guys are interested in so again i do want your feedback on that thanks so much again for watching have a fantastic rest of your day whatever it is you're doing stay safe have fun and we'll see you later Bye bye